Hello my millionaire divas, it's your girl Miss Millionaire Peters coming right back at you. I have so much to tell you all. Okay, so if you watch my last video, you would realize that I went to IMAX, NYC, New York, and I had my vacation as well. So if you're watching this video and you never seen the other video that I have well, the last two videos that I had because I had one telling you that I'm going to IMAX and what IMAX was and then the other one was me actually being at IMAX it's an IMAX vlog so if you never watch any of those two videos Hit the link in the description bar and go and take a look so that you can understand what I'm about to bring to you today. So, this video is all about what I bought at IMAX. I'm going to try to provide you with all the information at once because I don't like splitting up my videos into two parts because one video always gets more attention than the other one. So, you see this big bag? Like you see this bag, <laughs> guys. This bag is big, but let me tell you something. When I take out the stuffs, you're gonna be like, just that. And trust me, this costs money. Okay, I don't even know what I'm gonna start with. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna just randomly pick out the stuff and show you guys and hope that I remember the seller's name of the items so this is a lot of stuff okay first of all I'm gonna start with this this when I saw it I was it was so freaking cute like oh my god it's actually an eyelash holder so it opens like this and I can store I can store about one, two, three. I can store three pairs of eyelash in it. And I got this for four dollars, right? So this is one item. Um I don't have the items divided out into um, like the seller to say okay I bought these five items from one seller but as I go into the bag I'm going to try to take out all the items I bought from this seller unfortunately I don't remember the name of this seller but this seller had a lot of like cheap stuff and stuff like that um, they had a lot of brushes and eyelashes and stuff like that. I don't remember the seller name, but I will check my folder and if anything, I will place it in the description bar. So, guys, please check the description bar to see if I place um, where I bought the brushes, where I bought the eyelash holder, and all the other items. I will just have the names of the seller next to them, okay? Alright, so the same seller that I bought the eyelash holder from I bought let me see oh, it's actually three beauty blenders and these they are not the hard kind as you can see they're the really soft kind and they were one dollar and fifty cents each I got three um I bought some brushes they had a whole ton of brushes like they had a whole table full of brushes in different compartments and there was like a dollar each two dollars 150 and they had a sample there so you could uh, feel the brush to see if it's what you know the texture that you want um i didn't wear ham but i bought you see i didn't spend my money foolishly i spend my money wisely on items that i know i need and items that i may not need but have a little want and that they are useful so anything i bought 
they're they are for purpose okay so this one I bought this one for five dollars and the reason why I took up this one because I think that this one can be used for my contouring when I do my contouring I can just like you know put that right there and it seems very soft it feels very soft so yeah I know many of you seen these brushes hanging all around so I finally got one I bought let me see I think it's more than three but these were a dollar each and this is regular eyeshadow brushes but I bought these because I think I can use these to apply the concealer on the, my eyebrow so I bought three of these they are super super soft and they are synthetic brushes and you know back then synthetic brushes was like wah 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 but now synthetic brushes has evolved and they are really nice so I bought those, I bought about four, five, about four. I probably have more of these brushes, but like I said, I just have everything in one bag. So, but I have four in my hand now and I bought them for 150 and these are just regular eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, sorry, eyebrow brushes, the angled ones. So you can use them to create your baby your eyebrows here in your eyebrows with your pomade or whatever you want to call it okay um i have three of these spoolie we call them mascara we call them spoolie or they we call them mascara wand um i have about three of them but i think i have more and these were a dollar each um i bought this for it doesn't have a price but i think i bought it for like six dollars or something like that this one doesn't have on the price this is actually a makeup brush cleaner so i hold here put my fingers in here and then i use this to scrub my makeup it has the bristles on the top and it has a stripe so you can get two different this is like for more um intense cleaning this is to just like rub the brush on that and you're good to go so i have that all of these i'm showing you is from one company okay um let me take this while i'm at it I bought eyelashes from this company. This company is like, um, man, I'm so sorry I forget the company name. This company sells a lot of, um, like supplies, like, um, puffs and, you know, your disposable items that you use for makeup. They kind of like a supply store, you know, and they had a Whole, just like how they had a whole ton of um, the table with like a whole box with a different compartment of brushes they had a whole ton of eyelashes and they were the lady was like screaming I don't lashes I don't lashes I don't lashes three you know you, you buy how much is that three six nine you buy like nine or ten something like that for ten dollars it was like a dollar lashes a dollar lashes and i was like a dollar lashes weird <laughs> but i bought this kind it's 427 i have all three of them together because i think all of these is the same let me make sure no they're not the same okay this one is 427 this one is 509 so much people went with so much people was there like just going with all the lashes it was ridiculous this one is 078 like look I'm not gonna go through all these lashes but you get an idea they're not real mink lashes they're the synthetic ones 
but you know you can find the synthetic ones that really 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 nice and when you put them on they're natural these remind me of Ardell Wispies so I tried to find all of the natural ones I could find um, so this is nine lashes this is nine lashes three six nine pairs um, I bought my big puffs from them the ones where you know you could hold while you're doing the makeup and I bought this pack with six in it for $4.50 um, what else what else I bought I bought my wedges from them oops, 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 oops. I bought my wedges from them and one of this block is for a dollar so in all I get all these for just three dollars that's a deal because if I have to buy these things locally <laughs> one of these in one of the beauty supply store the makeup store here in the British Virgin Islands it is almost ten dollars. It is for that eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine or even more because I normally get half of this block for like six dollars. And I'm serious. So yeah. Okay, that's from you see. Yeah, I know I had. I know I had a lot more from that company. See, I'm still finding brushes. So these are the same brushes and mascara one that I showed you earlier. I bought this spatula from them because um, I'm going to depart some um, some of my eyeshadows. So I really need the spatula to take out the eyeshadows when I'm going to depart it. And it it can also be very useful like if you have lipstick you want to take out the lipstick and you don't want to use your hands to touch the product stuff like that this will come in very handy I bought this was the only sharpener that they had leave back um, it's the one with the I'm not even going to get it it's the one with the big hole and the small hole. You know what a sharpener look like. I bought some tweezers. The sharpener was for a dollar and I think the tweezers was like for a dollar each. I think I bought like three or four tweezers um, from that company. I think I bought this. I think I bought another set of blocks from the same company. I'm trying to figure out if it's the same company. Yeah, it is. Reason being, these white ones um, is non-latex. Yeah, these, that's what the lady said, I remember. This white one is non-latex. And these ones that are kind of off-white, I don't know if you guys can actually see the difference. Um, but these ones is latex and this all of this block is three dollars and fifty cents it has one two three four five six six blocks um, it's good to have certain stuff with latex and without latex because there are people who are allergic to latex like myself so I can't use this on my skin. I'm definitely gonna have a breakout. So you're gonna pass over clients that are allergic to latex and certain other products. So you have to make sure that when you're buying items, you know what you're buying, you know what you're putting on your customers. Because trust me, you don't wanna be a makeup artist walking around with a lot of lawsuits out there for you. So you gotta be careful and know what your product contains, okay? So please be careful. Um, I think that is that for that company. If I pass over anything else, then I would take a rain check. But I think that was from one company. 
I bought this beautiful lip gloss a uh, lipstick <laughs> lipstick holder and it holds about it holds about 36 lipsticks guess what guys guess how much i got this for put it in the comment below guess how much i got it for but guess what i got a deal on it because when i asked the lady and told her i want this one the one because they had the one with the wrong holes and they had the one with the squares but i don't want the one with the squares because most and almost all of my lipsticks are round lipsticks because if I get the one with the square, they, you know, they may not, they may not hold. So I got the one with the round um, holes. So I think this was twenty or fifteen dollars, and this actually was the display, and it was the last one. And they were basically packing up. It was Sunday, and that's it's the last day. It's, it's not destroyed. It has no scratches. I was like, sweetie, can I buy, your, can I buy the display and done? And it was like, sure, no problem. I think I got it for like 10 or 5 bucks. Deal, right? You guys need to go shopping with me. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um, I stopped by another eyelash store. Um, see, uh, tweezers. This is another tweezer. The um, the ones that are easier for you to hold with the flat head. I bought this from the first company that I was showing you guys. So now we're on to another company, and these are some lashes. Well, it's the same company that I bought this lipstick holder from. These lashes were, um, they're synthetic mink, so they were like, I think there was like three dollars for ten. I think there were three for ten. So, the first pack that I have, the lady actually didn't heard what I said clearly, and I didn't realize until when I reached back home, because I told her I want two packs of the bottom lashes. This company is Coco Coco Lashes. And I bought this. I don't even know if you guys can see because it's so bright on my end. It is so bright. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see any of these lashes. But, but yeah. It's three packs I have of the bottom lashes. And, um this one is 502s all three of these is 502s and this is the design for the 502s i don't know like i said i don't know if you guys can see this one is a lower and all three of them is a lower and they are just so gorgeous like they are so so beautiful and they had like a glass display something like oh this is glass they like plastic is not glass but it's hard plastic and they had all the lashes there on display it, every design and you can touch it you can feel it and choose which one you want it was so beautiful the name of this one um this one is three different but it's two two of one pattern and one pattern basically two boxes is the same pattern and one is by itself the one in the back this one is gg this is like oh my god like extra extra read all about it and this one is madam wispy it is wispy but like long these are so sweet and then these ones are more dramatic i have Another Madame Wispy, I have one says Baby G, one says Venus, and one says Monroe. So this is how Monroe look. These ones are way more dramatic. This is Monroe. Um, 
this is Venus. Um, this is Baby G. And I think I showed you guys this already. This is Madame Wispy. So this is four. This is like four. This is four lashes in one. This is three lashes in one. Yeah. So I bought three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, thirteen pairs and 16 pairs in all of lashes from coco lashes that's what it not that's what i put up my account but i do hope it is coco lashes and um i pick up some bags from zuka um if you're a makeup artist you will be familiarized with this brand zuka brand is um a makeup company that sells like special packaging for makeup artists so if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for like a nice carry bag stuff to carry your makeup in they are specialized in that like if you're in makeup school and stuff like that most of the makeup schools would suggest you purchase your carry kits and stuff like that from Zuko. This from Zuko, they had a special and it's three pouches. Um, I think all three is the same. No, I think I think they're different, but they are pouches, and I think I got these three pouches for eleven dollars or something like that. So this is this might be the largest one this is how they are and you can store all your lipsticks or even if you're a hairdresser and you want to store your hair products like your hair pins and stuff like that you can okay so the other two are smaller ones so I open them quickly so that you could see the other two are the same size so that one is the bigger one and these two is the same size you can put whatever you want put them into your carry case and you I think I got these for twelve dollars twelve dollars I don't remember something like that so yeah that is from Zuko and um okay I bought some more lashes from LA Splash. Now these lashes are also synthetic mink and they are so beautiful. The name of this one is Diva and the packaging is so freaking cute. Like look at this. I wore the green one already. This is so freaking cute. I'm trying to see if I could get it open because I had problems trying to get it open okay so this is how it looks a nice box and you just slide the box across like this and this is how the lashes and this one the name of this one is diva you guys know I like drama but natural drama I love me some lashes that looks like drama but when you put them on they are nice and clustered so i got me four pairs this one is um savage this one is a bit more dramatic and comes with a nice little la splash card so this one is LA Splash Cosmetic. It says, Dear Splashlet, on behalf of LA Splash Team, we want to say thank you. We can't wait to see you slay. And it has like the social media information on the bottom that when you wear the lashes, you can hashtag them at LA Splash Cosmetic on Instagram. And if you're on Facebook, you can find them at, la at LA Splash One. So you girls, my Millennia Divas, if you want to slay in some LA Splash, ooh, Mama Lash Drop, then you can check them out because 
these lashes you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the real 3d mink lashes then these are just 10 bucks and they are beautiful okay the one that i wore was saucy and i'm gonna try bring it in the center so that you can see it. i wore these already i wore them when i was in new york this one is extra and trust me it looks extra <laughs> This one has a lot of drama going on. So these four are basically like my personal ones for myself. All the other ones like these and stuff like that, I won't really be wearing them. The ones that I bought, like three of the same brand, I would have like one for myself and two for my makeup kit and stuff like that. But mostly everything that you see me buy they are for my kit. They're not for my personal use. So, unfortunate. Okay, next stop was Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I wanted... What color I wanted? I don't even remember. But I wanted the color in one of her foundation stick. No, I'm untrue. What did I want it? No, it was the contour palette, the cream contour palette, and they were out of stock. Like, really, Anastasia? Really? Yeah, she was out of stock. This is her lip palette. This is how it looks. And it has all the different colors on the back, and trust me. This bad boy is so pigmented. I've been wanting. This is one that was on my wish list. But I was like, hmm, wait for IMAX for that one. I don't remember how much I bought it for. I think I probably got it for 20 something. I think it retails. I think it retails 30, 40 something. And I think I got it for. Oof, I don't remember. I'll place everything in the description bar. But. It comes with a lip palette for you and like I said it has the colors on the back this is how it looks I actually already dug into one of the natural colors yeah I dug into one of the natural colors while I was in New York I was testing out this is how it looks so beautiful I think I dug into two mixtures this one and this one to test it so definitely you guys know that you're gonna be seeing a tutorial on this so that's that for Anastasia Beverly Hills I also got her brow I also got her Brow gel. Let me tell you something, ladies. This is my new to go. I was kind of skeptical and I was like, I need something to keep down my brow hairs because I have been treating my brows, so I just um shaped them up today so they're looking real nice and fresh. But I have been treating my brows, I really take care of my brows, and I let my brows just grow wild and when they grow wild people can't even tell the difference when i conceal them to fix them so they grow wild but they're not thick my hair thin but you know they grow a bit wild so i need i needed something so to to keep them to to set and i don't like using the beckel primer to set them because it's a bit too slippery when I use I use my pomade and when I use my pomade to outline it it doesn't it just like it wipes away easy so I needed something that was going to set my brows and I said you know what let me try the pomade from Anastasia I mean the gel eyebrow gel from Anastasia because it's also vegan and it is the bomb this one is the clear one the clear brow gel this bad boy this is how it looks it's just like a regular it looks like a mascara but it's clear 
and all you do is set your brows with it let me tell you something this thing here this thing bad let me tell you is set your hair them like when like when you're setting your hair with setting spray and it stay this thing bad i also bought her foundation stick in earth i think that's the darkest shade or the second to last darkest shade that she carries in the foundation stick and this foundation stick i also use it and i also had this on my wish list to buy to buy and i just was like it's not a necessity now but there's some makeup stuff that you know you you you, you want you don't need and you you know you want to try them but you just don't really want to waste some money so i know she was going to their eye mats and i decided you know what it's time for me to get some of these things i really wanted this is how it looks this is how much you actually get in one stick and i think this is quite a lot of product it should last you it reminds me of the black opal and trust me this thing glides like a baby no i don't have it on now i only have my powder contour ph cosmetic but i will be doing a video showing you guys how i use these products um that's that for anastasia beverly hills um what's next scandinavia is up next now let me tell you something guys scandinavia have been on my wish list for quite some time and i wanted to purchase all when i say all all of the sprays this is what Scandinavia carries. Scandinavia carries uh, makeup setting sprays, primer sprays, anything that keeps your makeup into place and replenish your makeup. They even have one of these that, you know, if you're out for a while or stuff like that, you just spray it and it replenish your makeup, bring it back to life, hydrate you and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. When I went they were sold out i was like come on really they were sold out and i had to go to alcon alcon is the name of the company um it's in manhattan the following day i had to call alcon they told me to call them at 11 a.m in the morning and they only had two certain sprays remaining and it was it was the bridal one because i do makeup right bride's makeup and hair and stuff like that so i specifically wanted to make sure that i have my bridal setting spray it's a special setting spray for bridal and i wanted to make sure i have it this let me tell you something i tried it out I tried it out and I will be purchasing a bottle of this for myself and even though I don't wear bridal makeup every day trust me that's going to be my setting spray to go because it's the bomb.com the next one I have is the makeup primer spray let me tell you something if you don't want to use any cream base to prime your face before you apply your makeup get this bad boy right here this is everything you need in a bottle to prime your face other than moisturizer but it moisturizes i am going to use this and i'm going to show you guys trust me i'm gonna show you guys all these products i'm not just gonna tell you or recommend these things to you and i haven't used them for myself trust me this bad boy makes your skin feel so soft and smooth okay so that's it for Scandinavia. i also went to inglot and i got some stuff from inglot i got 
the number 76 and 77 i also wanted the 96 but they did not had it i was so jumpy if you see my video before you would realize i was at england and i had a, a, a shot at england and i was saying yeah they had all of the colors that i wanted because when the lady said no we don't have number 96 i was like really girl you just hyped me up for nothing so the number 77 almost everybody knows what that is and it's black it's the black no that's not what i have on my eyes right now I'm trying to get the container open this container is just so hard to open okay this is the black this is how the black looks well i can't get it open i'm still with this if those of you who never use Inglot, this is how Inglot looks. And it sells a lot of... Oh, guys, I forgot. It's sealed. I'm going to show you the white because... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, think I opened the white while I was in um, New York. This is how the white looks. It's just white. But it's extremely pigmented and I'm going to show you the black but I'm going to show you the black from the used one because this is for my kit and the black one that I use it's for me personally so this is the black one that I use this is how it looks yeah so I got that from England I also got um, the duo the duo line mixing liquid and with this liquid you can mix anything with it you can mix whatever I sh excuse me you can mix whatever eyeshadow you want like the powder eyeshadows with this liquid so that you can get a liquid liner this is how it looks so instead of me having to go out and purchase color liners i can make my own liners with the eyeshadow and just mix a little bit of this so this is how it goes it's like a drop you just drop it you press it the top it has a button and you just press it to suck up and you just drop cute little bottle i think this is These retail at $22 and I think I got it for $17. This retails at $15, $17, something. I think I got it for $13. So, and they all they gave me this as a gift hydrating day serum. It's just like in a sample pack. And this they gave me a lipstick freedom system it's in the number 99 and it's it's like a palette it's actually it's a lipstick like a purple lipstick so they gave me those two as a gift I don't know if you had to purchase something based on price or every single body that came and purchased something they just received a free gift so that's what I got from, from um, England that's a splash the company that I got these lashes from I forgot um, I bought a lip liner from them and I paired this lip liner with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette, the brown, two brown that I showed you that I used. I paired this lip liner with it to give it a nice natural look and it was so lovely. It comes with an eraser on the end, well, I call it an eraser, but it's like a blender so that you could blend um, your lip liner with the lipstick this is the color brown i don't know if you can see but that's the color brown it's like a dark 
brown the color of it is Tuscan and the pencil name is architect at in something like architect but it's not architect it's at architect lip sculptor so they had different other colors like red and stuff like that but they were out of stock this was the last color that they had available the others were samples so yeah now when i went to the mac booth mac provide you with a booklet that they have all of the products that they have there at imax and unfortunately they didn't have the products that i want i wanted to purchase patrick star collection um i wanted to purchase my concealers um what else i don't remember what else but when i they gave they give you a 30 percent coupon and you had to go to the specific um max store which is in manhattan and it had closed 12 o'clock 12 a.m on the same day as i met and I had to that coupon would have expired anytime after the day so it only was valid for the same day of IMAX so after I finished IMAX I went to Mac and I had to purchase whatever I needed and to be honest because of most of the company because this is my first time going to IMAX and most of the companies that I use and the products that I need they are online companies and most of them were not present at IMAX. Don't be present at IMAX. Like Juvia's Place, all these companies, they don't be present at IMAX. They are online companies. So after I've, you know, walked around and realized, well, half the stuff that I have on my list, I cannot buy them physically because companies are not here so I decided some of the stuff then that I know I wanted that you know really was not of a necessity to me I end up purchasing all these other items just using the money and purchasing all these other items because they were a good deal it didn't make sense go to IMAX and because I didn't get the items that I want I would leave with the money and then if I leave with the money who knows I may not have taken that money to go and purchase them online right I might have gonna buy something else so I went to Mac, I pick up what I need because trust me, I had already spent most of my money at IMAX and I decided, mm -mm. so these are my concealers, um, these are for my kits, I already have some others for my kits. So this is just to have in my inventory, just in the event that the others finish. Um, I have three of these in my kit, but I didn't bother to purchased the third one because the third one was like the extremely light one and I hardly use it so it didn't make any sense to waste money on it again I had the NC50 and I had the NC45 and I think the one that I have in my kit is the NC30 it's extremely light for those of you who don't know how MAC prolonged wear concealer look this is how they look they are 9mm 0.30 fluid ounces that the amount you get it's a squeeze bottle so you just press the product is out that is all i got from mac trust me i wasn't going head over heels went to sephora as well because some of the items that i use only sold in sephora so I went to Sephora and I finally, finally got my shade in the Fenty Beauty Foundation. When I was in Texas, I got a sample and they didn't have my shade. They were out. I kept on, you know, stocking Sephora to get my color. It was sold out. So... I finally finally got my shade and my shade is 470 this is neutral I could fall into the 450 460 line but I find that they, they were red undertones and that's not cutting it for me 
so I'm staying neutral so this is the 470D I already used it to make sure that it fits me perfect when it oxidizes if it fits me perfect so look out I'll be giving you guys an update on this oh let me show you how it looks for those who don't know this is how it looks yeah the bottle is a bit messed up because I used it so I also got my large Becca primer this is a must have for me because it's a mattifying primer this bad boy let me tell you something you see this bad boy here if you wear milk of magnesia under your makeup which is not professionally proven for you to do but because we are in the caribbean and i think a lot of people don't understand that when you live in the Caribbean versus when you live in the United States, even the sun out in the United States, the temperatures are still different. It's nowhere, nowhere close hot to what we have in the Caribbean. When you see sun out, sun is out. We are melting, pulping hot. So when the reason why a lot of makeup gurus and some makeup artists use the milk of magnesia is because it actually works it actually holds our makeup together for a very long time so we here in the caribbean use it versus those makeup gurus or whoever makeup artists in the united states a lot of them pound it because they be like, oh, it dries the skin, it this, it this, this. But you're in a different type of climate. So your experience with it is going to be totally different than us. So if you're someone who loves milk of magnesia and you use milk of magnesia and it's not really proven to keep using it because after a while, it's not good. So... use this some of the components that makes up milk of magnesia it's in the becca primer this really works so they have the traveling size so if you want to test it out to see if it actually works for you especially you my caribbean girls buy the traveling size the traveling size retails at 15 something dollars this is like 38 for the large size so get you your backup primer um, okay last but not least um i went to the mod which is the makeup designer school it's a makeup school in new york in manhattan and they were at the they were at imat they actually i think there was a they were one of the sponsors i'm not sure but they play a big part in IMAX and they were there they had the booth and everything I got my magazine from them the magazine contains a lot of information from the school and stuff like that and they normally have workshops every Saturday in New York every Saturday and one week would be practical where you walk with your own brushes and everything and they show you how to do and the following week may just be theory so i had the beautiful opportunity to finally go and visit the makeup academy and i were i attended one of the workshops and it were a day to night makeup like i said check my video i think it's going to be in the part two video that i'm going to do you're going to see clips of me at the workshop and it was such a blessing and god favored us that day the students that were there that it was only three students and the lecturer was like she never ever 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 had such a small class and i said glory be to god because we interact no i'm untrue it was four it was four of us yeah it was four and we interact 
so beautifully the class it, we even finished way before the time that you know was allotted to us it was beautiful i enjoyed it it was very informative i learned a couple tricks and stuff like that it was it was it was good and they have their own mud we will call it mud for short in his makeup designery that's the name of the makeup school and um, they have their own makeup store in the school so they have their own line in everything and like I said, remember I said that I have some, some products that I need to dip, um, depart, deposit, depart, whatever you want to call it. So I bought the palettes that I'm going to take, like my Juvia's face, like shadows and everything. And I'm going to depart them into these. If you don't know what departing is, departing is basically, let me, let me show you. Okay, this departing is removing all of these eyeshadows and placing them in a palette that doesn't have all of this. You see how, you see how Juvia's place have all this space and stuff like that i'm basically going to destroy this i'm going to tear it tear it off and stuff like that and take out these these are in some small little pants basically i'm gonna show you the one that i got from inglot okay you see how inglot have this small little lip lip balm in this these this is how these are in this big old container so I'm going to take them out and put place them into my own container and they already they already have the magnets underneath the magnets is installed so once I pop that in there then that's going to stay so I'm going to make my own palettes it limits me in walking with a lot of weight having to walk with like six seven of these around in my makeup bags where i can only have like three or two of these so i bought these empty this is how it looks and it has the mud logo on it this one is for like the bigger eyeshadow so z gallery also sells i wanted to purchase my items from the gallery I was hoping that there was going to be at IMAX but they weren't so unfortunately that didn't work out so I have I bought that one but um makeup designer really has an online store so these items that I'm showing you they you can get them online they are available this one they call it the universal palette so this is what i mean it it doesn't have the spacing in between the other one only have the spacing in between because it's actually um this one were made for contour i think this one was made for contour or blush but i bought it anyways so this does not have any space in between so I can fit a whole lot of eyeshadows in this right this is the universal one and it has has this one similar to the same one that I had this one for the smaller one so this holds two for six eight ten this holds 12 eyeshadows
This is the same thing. It holds 12 as well. Knife and all. And I also bought the lip one because I have lipstick. I have a lot of MAC lipsticks. And instead of me walking around with them whole lipstick, I'm going to melt them. And I'm going to put them in this. This is so cute. This is like a nice little briefcase. This is how it looks. It is so cute. And it, it has a latch, a silver latch here. This is how the latch is. And it has the foam inside. Oh, it's white, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. I'll try to tilt it on the side, but it has the holes, and the holes are deep. It's basically plastic on the inside, and it has is two so lipstick up here lipstick down here and it has a divider to divide the lipstick so it wouldn't mess it up and these these holes are pretty much deep so i'm basically going to melt the lipstick and place them in all of these so in my, instead of me walking around with all these small little lipsticks you know I'm going to dip, melt them, put them in all of these. Just have one beautiful palette to walk around with to use for my lipstick. So these ones are longer on the top. And these ones are shorter. It holds about... Thirty-six. It holds. It has thirty-six slots. So, yep very cute and it's light it's light so um i bought some witch hazel astringent as well because i can't get it here locally for some reason i don't know probably i'm just not looking in the right place but i can't get it locally and then when i see it online it kind of pricey online so i got this for two bucks and I got my spirit gum. The brand is Cino Secret Special Effects. I bought these from Bottom. Um, they carry items that uh, that are not branded by their name. So it's a makeup school. So they gotta have everything. For those of you that don't know what spirit gum is, spirit gum is basically an adhesive to apply special effects makeup like tissue, gems and stuff like that. Like if you're into Halloween and stuff like that, that's what this is for. I purchased these. These are made by Mud because they have the, the Mud logo on it as well. These are some nice Q-tips, but they are the, um, oh, it has tape on it. They are the pointed ones, and, oh, God, I don't want my, I don't want my finger to dirty it. They are the pointed ones where you can just use it to wipe, stuff like that. Come in handy. It doesn't have a price, so I don't remember how much I bought these for. The 99 strength alcohol from them as well anything else okay my millionaire divas i think that this covers this eye mat haul i do hope that it's very informative for you you may have seen products that you never heard about before but you're willing to try please let me know tag me on my social media if there's something that you never heard of before you tried it from this video and it worked for you tag me this is all about us uplifting and helping one another we are queens and this is what we're here for this is a family okay so if you have any questions or if there's any product out there that you want me to try and 
I give you my honest opinion on it, hit me up, leave a comment below, let me know or shoot me an email. All of my information will be in the description bar. Please pay attention to it. Make it your best friend. That's where you're going to get all the information from, okay? So, once again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. If you make it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on, but you need to hit that button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, your family, and your associates. Share it. Do not keep the information for yourself. What did I say earlier? We are queens uplifting one another. Okay? Ah, as always, God bless. See you guys in the next one.